book is about bacon. It's been my passion for over 30 years and because of that it was my turn to come up with something that was truly magical and once you've started baking whether it be a cracker whether it be a bread or whether it be a cake you will have that bug once you've started you won't be able to put it down i've put two years of my life into this book and because of that it's it's encompassed everything that i've learned from the questions that i've had after bake-off and during bake-off people ask me questions on this book answers those questions that are the most popular ones that people want answering but there's something in the book for absolutely everyone. All the bakes were done in a home kitchen. They weren't done in a big professional bakery. They were done at home. So I know they work. And so all the recipes, whether you're starting with a cracker and a, or you're starting with a Victoria sponge. Now my Victoria sponge, cream and raspberry, you can't go wrong. And it's the most simple cake in the world to make. And again, it's not difficult, but I'm there. I'll hold a hand, the book will be there. and I'll take you through each stage to achieve your perfect bake. I'm going to show you how to make a Stilton and Grey flatbread and that's page 88 in the How to Bake book. Now to start with you need strong white flour. Now in there I've got 500 grams of strong white flour. Don't use the plain one. Plain one's got slightly less gluten therefore slightly less protein and you don't get that slight jump that you're looking for when you're actually making it at home. You need a bread flour or a strong flour. I'm going to add 10 grams of salt to one side and I'm going to add 10 grams of the instant fast action yeast to the other side. Just blend the salt in there, blend the yeast in as well so the salt doesn't come into direct contact with the yeast because it can retard it and prevent it from doing its job even at this stage. So just blend it around with your fingers, fingers in, turn. Job done. 30 grams of softened butter, straight in. Now at this stage, just get in there and just crumble and break down that butter in the flour. And it'll turn it to little bits of breadcrumb. Water, 310 mil. I can't be precise and I'll tell you why. Each flour has got a different absorption rate when it comes to water. Add roughly half to start with Get your fingers in there, like a mixer, and then just move it round the bowl. And you can begin to see it's beginning to form a rough dough, but there's still plenty of flour there to lift up. So more water. Get your fingers in again, and begin to crush the dough. Just to push that water into the dough at this stage. And what you'll find, is all the flour gets absorbed from the outside of the bowl. So you're left with very little bar, a lump of soft, squidgy dough. Using the heel of your palm and your fingers, just tap the dough down, fingers over the top, and then roll up. Now you need to do this for about four to five minutes. What you're looking for is a smooth, soft, elastic dough. That can go back in the bowl, at least the rest for a good 10 minutes, half an hour, just so it starts to move and get a bit of life in there. So the best thing to do is just leave it, get a tea towel, cover it up, forget about it. Okay, dough's got a bit of life in it now, a bit of air. All I'm going to do is just divide it up into some small little balls. You should get about 12 from this one. Just make a little indentation in the middle. Get some Stilton. Just chop up some of the Stilton. You need a good 250 grams of this stuff. Put some Stilton in the middle of it. Then you need to get some grapes in there as well. And then seal the parcel up. Get a rolling pin and gently from the middle roll out, the middle down, flip it over, do exactly the same thing. Look into rough pancake size, quite a thin bit of dough. Now you've rolled it out, you need to heat up your frying pan. Mm. 
this will begin to take color on quite quickly. Don't worry about it, just leave it alone. It normally takes about two, three minutes. Flip it over. Put a bit of pressure on it. Oh yes, that's the one. Stilton cooking in a pan, can't beat it. And there we have it, a Stilton and grape flatbread. How simple is that?